Hi everyone, Darcy Klein here. I uh, just wanted to make a video to um, show how I've got my new solar panel uh, that I built. There's an area that I, I ran out of, of cells, but um, they were supposed to send me 72 pieces and I had 77, so I've got 7 rows at 11 across for 77 of these cells, and I think they're rated uh, 0.55 volts, I think, a piece. Um, three and a half watts, I believe, each. Um, so I've got it set up here. It's coming out at about 40 volts at uh, half an amp, or a little more than a half an amp, going into the charger, and it's charging this uh, this battery here quite fast. Started off at 12. 0.7 maybe 10 minutes ago now the sun's coming out sun's starting to shine and I've got this uh, magnet stack on there just to help hear it and you hear the oscillations when the voltage uh, decreases the oscillations actually go higher, the frequency will adjust because it's a self oscillating circuit. Uh, it's just going to go up and down with the input current. And, uh, and you can see the, the actual standing voltage on the battery must be a fair bit lower because now that the amperage has dropped, uh, the voltage is starting to drop as well. Uh, I can show you, I can turn on turn on a light as well it takes the voltage down a little bit turns the amperage draw up and I can adjust that don't want to go too high with it but it does take away from the charging turn it off and uh, more of the voltage is being uh, applied to charging the battery Uh, the sun's going to come out again right away. Any moment here. And then I'll, uh, well, I hope it will. So I want to show the voltages. Yeah, it's coming out now. Now it's starting to come out. <laughs> it's a neat effect. I don't have this system grounded in any way right now, so... Yeah, it's doing alright. Got about 20 watts going into the uh, battery right now. The oscillator seems to be handling it all right. You hear that? There's a truck going by. Noisy truck. Heh, <laughs> talk about noisy. Boy, this is noisy. I'll take that off for a bit. You can still kind of hear it. But the sun has gone undercover again. And Anyway, that's just a quick video. Um, I'm also going to try hooking up my, um, I've got a single uh, single trigger four power coil, uh, so four slave coil power coils hooked to one trigger on this uh, pulse, pulse motor. Um, 
and actually these uh, it's hooked to a um, the, uh, the inner hub is actually hooked up to um, two fan motors so uh, there's an actual output there and an output there that uh, is just driving an LED. It only gets up to about 5 volts on that output, but uh, that's coming off of the uh, the hub motors. Two hub motors, one on each side to hold the wheel. And uh, yet it's, uh, it's a, a Bedini um, SSG, well, it's a it's a, one, a, a four slave, one power, or one trigger uh, motor. So I'm going to try that thing out and on it, see how it makes out. You do see that there are some cells that were that broke in the process. I was having some difficulties uh, keeping the uh, soldering from sticking to the glass. And uh, in the future, I will uh, build a template to uh, do them row at a time. They're very fragile, though. I was reluctant to want to solder them into one full row and then handle them that way. Um, so at any rate, this, it was a learning experience. Now I know that the uh, uh, you can get some you know 240 watt Kyocera triple bus bar like these um, uh, solar panels uh, for like 570 bucks I think um, at Alt E uh, website. I'll put the website in the link maybe or in the description. But uh, yeah, you can get uh, you can get some really good deals on solar panels now. So it's not even really worth building one like this uh, in the future, to be honest. But um, yeah, this is working fairly well. It's just uh, I do have a real inverter and uh, and pulse charger coming. Um, uh, but I wanted to try out some of my own uh, equipment uh, on it. Uh, just to see if I could screw up my panel. No, <laughs> well, uh, no. It actually, this is working quite well. Um, so, and I know that there's more amperage there to uh, to be uh, to be used. So uh, I'm going to be uh, running something like this on another bank while pulse charging a large uh, deep cycle bank. I've got uh, well, I think these are 130. Oops, cat got stuck in the door. 130 uh, uh, amp hour batteries, so there's uh, you know 460 amp hours of uh, of storage right now. I'm gonna get another four of these right away. Set it all up and anyway, well that's it for now. Uh, I'm gonna get the house cleaned up a little bit. Just finished working in here on the solar panel, so I got a real mess going on. But that's typical, eh? Anyway, uh, thanks for joining me. Until uh, next time. Been a long time since I made a video, so I'll try to do them more frequently. And just, you know, uh, have my attention is divided all over the place. Garage. <laughs> Starting. I've got a big hole down there, and I'm going to get, get rolling on that right away, too. Anyway, okay. Thanks. Love and light. Bye-bye.